हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल टेक्नो एजुकेशन एकेडमी इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस इंपॉर्टेंट प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग मटेरियल्स वैरायटीज ऑफ मटेरियल्स आर यूज फॉर वेरियस एप्लीकेशंस लाइक एज इन बिल्डिंग कंस्ट्रक्शन कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ ब्रिज इन मशीन्स इन केमिकल्स एंड फूड इंडस्ट्रीज इन ऑटोमोबाइल इंडस्ट्रीज इन बिल्डिंग इलेक्ट्रॉनिक इक्विपमेंट्स एंड ऑलमोस्ट फॉर ऑल सर्च पर्पजिस the material of different types and properties are used it is very important for us to select most suitable material for the design and construction of any part or any system for proper functioning the selection of material is uh, based on the consideration of the following factors the first one is availability the second one is cost and third one is properties so these are the consideration okay which is important whenever we select the materials various characteristic of materials which describe their behavior under different working conditions are known as properties of material study of the properties of material is important because in the design field manufacturing equipment functioning and equipment life as well as factor of safety are dependent on properties of materials now we will discuss important properties of material one by one the first one is strength what is strength it is the ability of a material to withstand the external load without breaking or yielding the materials are subjected to different types of forces such as tensile force compressive force and shear and the corresponding strength is known as tensile strength compressive strength and shear strength the strength of material plays a vital role in designing components of machine or a member of structure so it is the important property of the material second one is elasticity what is elasticity it is the ability of a material to regain its original shape and size after removal of the load is known as elasticity for example uh, we are considering rubber rubber is a elastic material so uh, whenever we, uh, you pull it it will expand or change the length and after removal of the force it will regain its original shape and size so it is called elastic material so rubber is a example of elastic material for each plastic body a certain limit exists beyond which the material will hold a remaining deformation the limit is known as elastic limit degree of elasticity indicates by a uh, medium of elasticity in case of tensile and compressive load the property is desirable for materials used in tools and machines this is a important property elasticity for uh, various types of tools used in machine next one is rigidity or stiffness the property of a material which enables it to resist elastic deformation or deflection is called stiffness or rigidity degree of stiffness is indicated by modulus of rigidity it is denoted by g in case of shear load different materials have different values of uh, young's modulus e and uh, rigidity g next one is plasticity the ability of a material to permanently deform without fracture on application of extended load is known as plasticity plastic deformation will take place only after the elastic limit has been exit so uh, sometimes uh, you observe that okay in some of the material okay some permanent deformation will be there okay it is called plasticity okay so in elasticity uh, whenever you apply the force and after removal of force it will uh, regain its original shape and size but in case of a plastic okay some permanent deformation will be remain or present okay after removal of the load it is called plasticity so plastic deformation will take place only after the elastic limit has been exit this property is important for uh, processes such as forging rolling drawing etc 
सम मटेरियल्स आर सेप इन कोल्ड कंडीशन एंड सम्स आर सेप इन हॉट कंडीशन ओके नेक्स्ट वन इज डक्टिलिटी व्हाट इज डक्टिलिटी इट इज द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ मटेरियल व्हिच इनेबल्स इट टू बी ड्रॉन इनटू अ थिन वायर्स ऑन एप्लीकेशन ऑफ टेंसाइल फोर्स सो इट इज द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ मटेरियल ड्यू टू दैट द मटेरियल विल बी ड्रॉन इनटू वायर फॉर्म so ductility of a material can be measured by the percentage elongation or reduction of cross section area before rupture of a test piece materials which uh, more than uh, 15 percentage elongation are considered as ductile for example mild steel okay it is a ductile material so whenever we apply the force through hammer so at that time uh, you can see that okay in case of a nail okay so it will bend but it will not break it is a ductile material next one is brittleness the property of material by virtue of which it will fracture without appreciable deformation under the action of uh, external load is known as brittleness brittle materials have very low strength in tension as compared to their compressive strength so uh, for example we are considering uh, example of uh, glass it's a brittle material so whenever you apply the force so it will break okay it is a brittle material so materials having less than 5 percentage elongation are considered as brittle this property is desirable in machine parts uh, which may be subjected to compressive load the examples of brittle material we have already discussed glass and cast iron it's a example of brittle material next property is hardness ability of a material to withstand scratching wear and abrasion or we can say penetration under the action of external load is known as hardness hardness is a important property for cutting tool materials and uh, for components which must uh, uh, resist wear hardness is uh, mostly measured by uh, determining the resistance to penetration by different methods such as uh, brinell hardness test rockwell hardness test and vickers hardness test the next property is toughness it is the measure of the amount of energy per unit volume which a material can absorb before it fracture when a load is suddenly applied to two pieces for example we are considering uh, one piece is mild steel and the other is glass so the mild steel will absorb much more energy before its fracture hence mild steel is much tougher than glass toughness is a highly desirable property for structure and machine parts which have to withstand shocks and vibrations so it is also important property of material the next property is resilience resilience is the capacity of a material to absorb or store the energy and to resist shock and impact it is measured by the amount of energy absorbed per unit volume in uh, straining a material up to a elastic limit this property is important in uh, materials used for springs and wire ropes next property is creep the slow and progressive deformation of a material with time and temperature at constant stress is called creep creep mainly occurs in steel at a uh, high temperature this property is useful in designing component uh, subjected to high temperatures like as a uh, boiler internal combustion engine uh, parts uh, steam and gas turbine as well as rockets and missile so this is a important property okay whenever we design uh, any of the equipment okay we have already discussed ic engine rockets and missile parts uh, gas turbine boilers internal combustion engine etc next property is fatigue the tendency of metal to fail by breaking or cracking under condition of repeated cycling loading that take place well below the ultimate tensile strength is known as fatigue 
the amount of stress that can be applied to a metal without fracture while it is subjected to 1 million or more cycles of load reversible is known as sputic strength. Connecting rods, lip springs, aircraft wings, shafts and gear teeth are subjected to sputic. Sputic failures occur without warning. Next property is malleability. It is the property of material by virtue of which it can be flattened or bent without cracking when hammered. Copper, silver, tin, mild steel are malleable materials and uh, remember guys gold is the most malleable material. Okay, This question is generally asking uh, most of the competitive exam. The next property is formability or workability. The ability of a metal indicating the edge with which it can change its shape while in solid state is called formability or workability. This property is based on ductility, rolling, extrusion, deep drawing are the various forming operations. The next property is weldability. It is defined as the capacity of metal to be welded under the fabrication conditions. Imposed in a specific suitably designed structure to perform satisfactory for intended services. The next property is machinability. It is defined as the edge with which material can be cut or machine by cutting tools in machining operation with the satisfactory surface finish. <coughs> it is called machinability. Machinability depends upon chemical composition of the workpiece material, mechanical properties, cutting conditions, etc. The next property is castability. The age with which the material can be given solid shapes from liquid state is known as castability. This process is known as casting. Factors which affect the castability are solidification rate, shrinkage, porosity, etc. The last property is hardenability. Hardenability is the ability of a material indicating the age with which its surface or either core can be hardened by the suitable process of heat treatment. In case of plain carbon steel, the uh, achievable degree of hardness depends upon the carbon content in its composition. So these all are the important property of the material. Thank you friends for watching this video. I hope this content it will be helpful to you. If you would like to watch this type of more technical videos then please subscribe our channel and also share with your friends.